As we continue talking about the 4th of July, the Charleston Police Department is preparing to keep everyone safe. Sergeant Terry Cherry joining me now to talk about some of the things that the Charleston Police Department will be doing to catch impaired drivers. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Thanks for having me. So we're here with the holiday and we know that people want to have fun, but they also need to be responsible. So what are some of the things that you're going to be looking for when you look at those drivers on the road during the holidays? So we want everyone to be safe. We want everyone to have a good time and celebrate, but we want everyone to be safe, and that means no drinking and driving. In June, we had 54 arrests. I mean, 54 is quite quite a many wow. uh, just in June. So we're going to be out having checkpoints, which we will announce later on our social media, but we're also going to have group enforcement. In addition to that, we're going to have patrol officers also being vigilant, looking for aggressive driving and also looking for impaired driving. Now, when you say group enforcement, what does that mean? Group enforcement means that we're going to have people solely dedicated to, to looking for DUIs and, and, and stopping those people from being on the road. Um, we understand that, that people want to have a good time, be on their boats, be out enjoying the sun, but the problem is is that there's so many opportunities for other other ways to get home. There's mm -hmm. ride share, there's taxis, there's phone a friend. So there is no excuse for somebody getting in a car impaired and maybe causing harm to someone else. So it's okay if you want to go out and have a good time, but you just need to be responsible and make sure that you're not going to be the one behind the wheel. Correct. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's incredibly important for people to understand that when they make that decision, it impacts not just them, it impacts people's families, and it, it, it can also impact their finances and criminally impact them if they make that decision. You know, it, you your insurance can go up. It, it lasts forever. If you if you get a DUI, it lasts for, for many years dealing with the courts, dealing with the insurance, dealing with, you know, knowing that potentially you could have caused harm or you did cause harm to someone else. Yeah, I was going to say that was one of the questions we had is that it's really pricey to decide to drink and drive. And you just shouldn't. I mean, it's just it's just the wrong thing to do. You know, when you dig down deep and you're having a good time, you think, you know, this is, this is about the service that people give to our country and the freedom that we have, but you also have to take responsibility for the people in your community. That's part of the 4th of July as well. Mm -hmm. And doing that means caring about people enough to not get in a car when you're impaired and causing them harm. Mm -hmm. And so we are, we are emph emphatic about the fact that we will be enforcing the law and that people need to make good decisions. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm a driver. I didn't drink, um, but I happened to be out on the road, say around 11 o'clock, midnight, when some folks who have been drinking and driving are on the roads. Mm -hmm. What are some things that I can do to protect myself from someone who might be driving under the influence? So if you see something, say something. So always call 911 if you see anyone that seems to be impaired, because we won't know if you don't tell us, first off. Second off, if it does seem that someone's impaired, move back away from them. Also, if you need to pull, pull over and, and let them pass and call 911 and let us know what's going on. All right, thank you. Very solid advice to help us all have a very safe and happy 4th of July Independence Holiday. Sergeant Terry Cherry, great talking with you. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, as you head out and you have those holiday plans, please remember to be careful out there and watch out for other drivers on the road. We'll be right back.